Welcome to the YouTube channel again. This is Isan Kors from Kors Trading, and today we're gonna take a look at another speaker from Banger Olufsen. Today we got the highest speaker from Banger Olufsen ever made. This is the famous Beulab One. The production was started in '99, and and to the end of 2006 is designed by the famous dude, uh, David Lewis and the color combination it was was actually a big line you can get it in the silver black gray blue red green and silver blue the height is almost 1.9 but this 1.84 and is way around 36 kilograms so uh in this episode, we're gonna remove all the parts and see what's inside the Beulab 1, deassemble it, and uh, yeah. But at the first, I will uh, explain how to remove the, the front uh, cover, the front grill, and we're gonna take a look up, uh, at the, the drivers inside the Beulab 1. So let's do that. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the front grill in, right here. Under here, there is a, a, a trigger mechanism, so you need to pu uh, pull it in, and at the same time, you need to lift it up like that. So it's click up like that, and this is the trigger mechanism right here. So you need to pull it down and pull up the, the front grill. If you're gonna install it again, just place it like that and pull down. Oh, like that. Now it's uh, uh, in place. So let's try to push, it, push the, the plastic thing in and lift up at the same time. Here we go. And this is the method to remove the front grill. We have now fully removed the front grill, the front grill cover. As you can see, there is uh, four drivers inside the Beulab 1. Uh, two times the woofer is, uh, is producing, producing around uh, 450 watts. And there is a mid-range driver is producing 125 watts and also the triple is also producing 125 watts the best amplifier is a class d amplifier at mid-range and triple is a, a class a and b driver also we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to remove it there is uh, only screws that are holding the units so we're gonna remove it one by one i'm gonna start off the top and there's only four screws that are holding all the drivers all four screws so we're gonna do that um, I'm also gonna take all the parts at the table again show you how we deassemble it and also show you the details about the drivers at the end I'm also gonna show how we remove the the input part the PCB part and also the amplifier board so let's start with the, the top of the bass driver and see uh, how we're gonna remove it. That's actually very easy. There's only four screws holding. So we're gonna do that. The last screw is out. You can just pull it out nice and easily. And there's only two uh, cables that are holding the woofer. Just press down. There's a locking mechanism. Just press down and it's up. And here is the woofer for Beulab 1. Next step will be for the mid-range. We have unscrew all the screws around the mid-range. So we can also, we can just take a flat screwdriver, put it in the side and you can just remove it. And also be careful uh, when you install a new uh, driver, mid-range driver, it's, it's made of plastic. Don't push it and screw it all the way in. You're gonna break it. So uh, locking mechanism again at the at the cables, just press there and the other one. 
And here is the mid-range driver. Uh, next up will be the Twitter unit. We have uh, removed the, the screws. You can just uh, press at the back and it pops out and locking mechanism again. And just pull and here is the Twitter unit. And also has a cooling pad at the side. The final driver is the lower best driver unit. There's some difference at the best driver unit. There's a PCB board 5. You need to just click the release button here. Just pull. And again. And here is the woofer. At this point, we have uh, uh, fully removed all the driver units. Next step will be remove the front part, front plastic part. Uh, we need to remove uh, all the screws around and uh, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna split up the process again. We have uh, fully removed uh, all the screws around the, the plastic part and there are also some uh, screws uh, hiding here and up there. So you can just pull and the front plastic part will be released from the, the aluminium chassis. So we're gonna put this part aside. As you can see there is uh, some improvements uh, of the isolation material. Um, this is the, the new standard for isolation material by Bengal Olufsen. Yeah. So there's uh, four isolation material inside Biolab 1. Just remove and we can just uh, put, put it aside. As you can see there is some uh, some divider inside the, the Bevelab 1. Uh, it's actually also easy to remove it. You can just uh, break it down, just pull and here. As you can see I'm gonna show the, the details about the cables. The cables is also has the bad foaming material around it so it's a very very bad condition i highly recommend it you if you open your bang and all and build up one i highly recommend to remove this uh, bad foaming material around the cable uh, and try to supply a new one or just remove it because it's very sticky and inside the, the build up uh, amplifier unit inside the amplifier unit there is also uh, bad foam material inside that and that can cause also some damages to the board. We have uh, fully removed the, the front chassis, the plastic part, the drivers. Next step will be uh, removing the, the foot. Next step will be removing the foot. Uh, under the foot there is, I think there are six screws that is holding the foot. It's very heavy. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna, how are we gonna do it? I think I'm gonna put it at the table and show it also the process, full process. But as you can see, as you can see, uh, the cable materials around the cable, the isolation for the cable is, has done a huge mess at the floor. Make sure to remove all the isolation materials around the cables. Open your build up one, remove it and install it again. And also I'm gonna show you how to how the cable materials is also inside the amplifier unit. So we're gonna also take a look at, at, at this point. Here is the button of the Biolab one plate. This is the lower plate. I have fully laid down the the build up one at the table. So uh, you can freely remove the the BWF one. Underneath at the BWF one there is uh, many options. Here is the the power cord input, the supplier, and you have two options for power link options. And you can actually just uh, there's options like the the BWF, uh, two, and also I think there is also this option in BWF eleven. 
here you have the the options uh, you can there's some option against the wall uh, in corner or you can you, you can also adjust this like the freestand you can also set the speakers in the light and left position and the line in cable you can also use the speakers uh, in other systems so um, in this case we're gonna remove the the big plate there is some screws we need to remove so uh, we're gonna do that I'm gonna speed up the process again so I'm gonna take my screwdriver and remove the the lower plate for build up right now we have removed all the screws uh, you can just uh, take the plate and wiggle it a little bit or we have finally removed the, the big plate the stand for build up one it's quite heavy and yes here it is As promised, here's all the details about the drivers for Beulah 1. And this is the, the Twitter unit. Has some cooling pad here. And this is the part number. And it's actually very big Twitter for the Beulah series. Here is the mid range driver. Has a closed system has a nice design it's, very, it's, it's actually like the the Beowulf versions but it has a very nice uh, cabinet for it and there is two types of woofers for the Beowulf one uh, this has this is the the top up chopper woofer without the PCB board and I think you can just modify it since there is a whole um, and this one, this has the the PCB five. Get a closer look. The NTC board. So the NTC board is normally at the lower part on the Beulah one. So this was actually all the drivers inside the Beulah one. So we are continuing to remove all the parts from the Bangor Olufsen Beula 1. We have uh, removed the drivers, we have removed the, the bottom plate. And at this point we are looking at the, the electronic unit side. So here is the amplifier unit and the input unit. There's only two boards inside the Beula 1. So let's try to remove uh, the big plate here, you can just slide it. There's normally two screws here. I already have removed it to make this video. So you just only thing you need to do just pull it up in this side, and the big plate will be easily removed. And here is the plate. And we're gonna put this aside. As you can see, the this is actually the cooling pad for the amplifier unit. So it can be a little bit dusty inside the, the lines. I would recommend to do that before it get the dust get inside the electronic here. So uh, open your paper lab one and clean this nicely up because the dust will some way go inside the electronics and damage it so do that the next process is to remove all the screws uh, align here so we're gonna do that before we start safety first because uh, it can have some static energy inside the body always safety first so I'm gonna speed up the process, remove all the screws and take a look what's inside the Beulah 1. 
right here underneath there's some two screws we also need to remove there's one here and one here also need to remove the screw is finally removed and we can just lift it up and turn it around and you can actually just place it right here here is the amplifier unit and the input board and the big transformer as you can see at the isolation material material around the cable has the bad foaming isolation and this isolation will some way drop on top of the amplifier unit and cause damage and you can also see it uh, see it as here so uh, we're gonna remove that and also I highly recommend you to remove oh so you can see I would highly recommend you to do that because it would, in some way it will damage your amplifier unit on, uh, in your BioLab 1. It's very dusty and old. So um, let's try to remove all the cables here. And here we go. I have finally removed all the cables from the amplifier unit. Um, we need to remove uh, all the screws on top of the amplifier unit. So this will be the next process. We have finally removed the last screw on top of the amplifier unit. The amplifier unit is actually has a heat sink on top of it. And we just need to remove that first. I think we can just remove it like that. And this has the locking mechanism inside here and also when you change the amplifier unit always place uh, this part hitting the the cooling pad heatsink because if you don't do it you're gonna burn this part so uh, the way we're gonna remove it is just uh, keep pushing this part up and down and a point just try to lift it up wiggle it and try to push it here and the last cable is here here we go Here is the amplifier board for the BioLab 1. I'm gonna put it here. Next step will be removing the, the transformer. We have finally unscrewed the screw for the, the big transformer. And here is the screw. And we just need to remove the cable from here. And I think we can just lift it up. Hmm, it's not coming off. There we go. And it's out. And here is the big block transformer. Now we're going to continue to remove the, the input board. Let's try to first remove all the cables. cables has been removed and let's try to unscrew all the screws from the input board the last screw is removed and we can just easily remove the input board just lift it up and here is the and here is the input board as you can see all the the bad foaming material is on top of the the board so uh, again, 
clean this all remove all the cables and remove the isolation cables from the around the cables I'll put it here as you can see all this bad foaming material around the cable is going into the boards so I highly recommend you to clean remove this bad material is it's very sticky and we just remove it by like this it's very hard to remove it but uh, do it next step will be remove uh, removing this board is the PCB4 is the best switch PCB so we're gonna do that and here is the the best unit switch gonna remove the cable and yes as you can see the cable is very very ugly condition all these materials falling out here we have finally removed all the parts only one part is, is left that's the LED indicator the LED indicator let's try to remove this screw the LED indicator is right here let's try to remove that so I just removed the big uh, aluminium chassis cabinet the next step will be remove uh, removing the the back uh, plastic part there are some screws holding uh, I don't know if I can, I can show you but uh, here there are some screws we need to remove and we're gonna do that and we have finally unscrewed screws and we can just pull it out and here is the the plastic path for the Biolab 1 input cabinet and here is the PCB board 3 uh, this board will be sealed like this because it's glued into the this plastic part so uh, we actually done we have a we have finally finally remove all the the parts for the biolab one um, it was it was actually okay uh, process I have done it before so I knew how to engage the product and also how to DSM the parts so thank you for watching and the last uh, and the last uh, information I'm, um, I'm gonna give you to you guys and girls and all to my audience there's different uh, versions of the amplifier board so this amplifier board is uh, it's not in good condition it will be need to be maintained and serviced but what I have noticed this amplifier board has a, a version 1.2 and the other one is actually a 1.1 version so this board is actually a different board it's older board so uh, it's also actually interesting I, 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 di I didn't know there was two kind of boards and you can also see um, uh, there is some difference between uh, these two uh, the capacitors is actually smaller in the, the, the older version the bigger the the new version has a big capacitors and yes it's all very interesting to look at actually so I didn't know that there's a new thing to me and yes I just want to share that information with you guys and girls and also to my all my audience so uh, this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and thank you for watching and have a nice day